management commentary. Now, this is a practice statement, not an international financial reporting standard. Therefore, it is not binding or does not have serious implication if an institution does not adhere to such. It is a report prepared to accompany the set of financial statements. Now, it is prepared to throw light to the associated financial statement that is supposed to be prepared in accordance with the international financial reporting standard. Management commentary provides users with information on the happenings in a particular financial year, which seek to explain the amounts presented in the financial statement, specifically the entity's statement of financial position, income statement, and cash flow. It allows management to provide insight on the business's future, whether it is a going concern or not, and also provide explanation to other information not presented in a financial statement. There might be certain circumstances that the business encountered, for example, maybe the COVID-19 situation, the impact it had on it. It might not be explicitly deduced from the financial statement, but in the management commentary, it will allow for such to be shown. So management commentary should be consistent with the following principles. Management is to provide the view of the entity's performance, position, and progress, including forward-looking information. They are also supposed to supplement and complement information presented in the financial statement. That is, provide more flesh to it. Where there is an explanation needed, they have to provide it for clarity to be achieved. For presentation-wise, management commentary should be clear and straightforward. And presented with a focus on important information this can be done by being consistent with the related financial statements make pronouncement to confirm what the financial statement is positive if the financial statement is showing a bleak future you don't have to say that there is hope or it did well you must avoid duplication of disclosures in the notes you don't have to say because there is not much to be disclosed we will force our way to put in things for the financial statement to look presentable or to align or meet up with others. You also have to avoid generic and immaterial disclosures. Again, what is necessary is what must be captured. We don't have to be forced into presenting things that are unnecessary. Let's look at certain elements of management commentary. Now, although the particular focus of management commentary will depend on the facts and circumstances of the entity, management commentary should include information that is essential, as spoken earlier, to an understanding of the five elements discussed below. Now, this element is derived from the assessment of the needs of primary users of financial statements on the management commentary. One is the nature of the business, what the business is set up to operate in or engaged in, or what the financial statement has been prepared based on. So, if the financial year they were trading in engineering services, it has to be stated. Other services that brought in revenue also has to be captured. Secondly, the management objective. This will help assess the strategies adopted by the entity and the likelihood that those strategies will be successful in meeting management's stated objectives. If for that particular year, the management wanted to have increased revenue, reduced expenditure, they wanted to have presence in certain industries, it has to be stated, which will give context to the figures captured in the financial statement. Also, significant resources risk of the business has to be stated. Now, the result of operation and prospects. So, it will give users the ability to understand whether an entity has delivered results in line with expectation and implicitly how well management has understood the entity's market, executed its strategy, and manage the entity's resources, risk, and relationship. Then lastly, the critical performance measures. So the yardsticks that the business or management has adopted for them to measure whether they are in line or drifting, for them to make necessary variations and control for the business to get to its objectives must be stated to enable users to assess for themselves whether management were in line or not.